we're gonna need a precision tool kit. What's that? A uh, Phillips head precision. Gonna need an Allen wrench of some sort. I believe this is a th three. I think this is a three. You're gonna need a torque set, uh, which I believe this is a T9. I'll double check that as we go through. Obviously a normal Phillips head screwdriver. Um, Got to use that which we'll go over a bit. And something to get the sticker off. Now, obviously, um, this is a bird scooter. Um, however, uh, City impounded them and they sold them off at an auction. So make sure you obtain these legally. I don't condone this sort of piracy. Um, but this is obviously what we got to do in order to make this thing here. And, um, just, you know, don't do this with any bird scooter off the street. So we're going to start by prying up this sticker. Now I'm using a razor blade, which is going to be a little bit hairier cause it's going to cause it to cut. But ideally you can see here. Once you get under it, it comes out pretty easy. And you'll expose six holes, which I believe are the torque screws. These are the torque screws. We are going to remove these first. You're going to pry off this and you're going to see this little circuit board right here this is the chip that communicates with um, bird in order to get everything set so the first thing we got to do is we got to dislodge this little guy right here which i think this is a gps connector would uh i would suggest something flat something not sharp I don't use the razor blade, but we got to get this bad boy out. So let's get her out of here. You wedge it out. You can probably even pull it out with your fingers. Let me holding a phone in your hands. And when you get it out, it's probably going to make a beep noise. Okay. Now, this one didn't make a beep noise, um, but I have another one actually right over there uh, they already pulled everything off of and uh, if this thing's got any juice it's gonna make a really loud beep noise it's kind of gonna freak you out so but we got that off All right so now as you can see it's still pretty stable you've got uh, screws right here right there and right there right there and right there uh, these are the same exact screws as these six holes right here uh, t9 torque screws um, if you need cheap t9s like there's kits and stuff you can buy online that have all these special bits there's nothing special about these bits at least if you have the same model the Xiaomi q365 um, you can get these at any standard hardware store or I just you know I go to Harbor Freight get something cheap um, but let me get these screws off here and then okay so i've got the board nice and loose i'm gonna pull it around and you're gonna see all sorts of good stuff right here basically we've got to get this piece right here off of this board so we can remove it and again this is this is the kind of thing where you might be able to pull it. And again, I'm sorry for the, the shakiness, but I'm trying to do this with one hand and a camera phone. So, uh, yeah, just use your hands. You can pry it out. You can pull that thing out. I mean, you can use the tweezers if you want. Um, but uh, obviously be careful. Try not to rip any of the wires or do anything like that. So that will completely disconnect this chip. This chip right here is garbage. We are going to put that with all of our, our other miscellaneous, miscellaneous stuff that we pull out of the bird sticker right there. 
Now I'm grabbing the razor again for a very specific reason. As you can see here, now again, this is consistent across two separate scooters that I've done. I bought one for me and my wife from the impound. Um, we gotta get we gotta get under here. This this little metal panel is gonna be a pretty big part of getting some of this thing off. So we gotta might not even, might not even need this actually. Uh, let's see, yeah. Slowly peel this back again. I'm sorry for the shaky camera, but I needed to do a tutorial. And I don't think anybody's made one yet, at least not this detailed. All right, so we got that. Now, as you'll see here, you have four screws. Got uh, one right there, one right there. Those are the ones you need a precision screw for. One right there, and one right there. You see my tweezers are uh, kind of crappy. Look at that, I got a little gap in there. I'm squeezed all the way. That's okay. Uh, I'm going to get these screws off. Again, normal screwdriver, precision, precision. And I think down here is another precision screwdriver. These are machine screws. They're going to be long, long screws. Right, so there are the four screws. You've got the three machine screws. And then the, that was the big screw. Get out with a standard Phillips. These are all just um, precision Phillips. I don't know what precision bit. That I used, I don't know, maybe, maybe it says on there 2.0, I guess. I don't, yeah, according to this thing, 2.0. I presume you can get a precision kit anywhere. I mean, I bought that one online. I've had that one for a while. All right, so we're going to get off this metal piece right here. We're going to put that with the rest of the stuff. All right, and now we've got a bunch of electronics in here. Because we got to get at this little piece, and what I didn't realize is, um, yeah, we do have to get this off, but it might be a little stuck, but you literally just wedge it, comes straight clean off. It might be a little tight because um, of the screws and everything, but you just pull it right off. Um, yeah, so this, this, this is, this is garbage. That goes with our garbage pile. But over here, Again, we've got this, which is what we really have to get at. And it's because you've got to pull up that wire. And we'll get to this. This is what we're aiming for. This is this is the magic ticket. We're going to take this right here and pull that off. All right, just a simple pop-in, pop-out wire. This is the module that needs to go. Problem is, is we still need all this stuff. So we got to get this bad boy off right here with this little rubber cover. Now there's a little zip tie on there. You might be able to get this out with or without the zip tie. All I did was cut this little zip tie because the zip tie is useless um, to get this off. And you'll see there's a bunch of little connectors in here, which some of them have already been dislodged because I started pulling things way harder than I should have. But we're going to get all these disconnected. You should be left with a couple. I'll be honest, I'm not exactly sure how many. I guess we'll find out in a minute. I think we got three. One, two, three, yep. And then this module piece right here. This is a bird thing. It's got to go. All right. Okay. Now, the next step, get online. I have a charger because obviously it didn't come with one. And then I've got the, uh, the kit. Okay, so this is a kit, a pro kit that I bought off of eBay uh, at a US based seller out of Jersey. I'll post a link um, in the YouTube video in case you want it, but I'm sure it's still from China. But um, so they've got a replacement circuit board top. This is the top piece and I'm sure these are just adhesives for each one. Um, and this is the main body of the unit. And as you can see, it's got that little blue connector that we yanked from earlier. And then it's got one, two, three connective pieces, which I assume are gonna be proprietary and work individually. The three main prongs, we've got a female, a male, and a female. All three pieces connected and the main connector. So we're going to jam the main connector back down in that hole. 
because all of these wires, all of these wires have to fit in here, right? So that this circuit board can line up nice and straight. And you'll see there's a little slot right there, three screws right here, which we pulled out earlier. These are, uh, let's see if I can zoom in. These are the precision flat heads that we pulled out earlier that sometimes they sell in kits. Some kits come with it, some kits don't. So I'm back over here with my package because uh, these screws are actually uh, too long. Um, they get about two thirds of the way in, or about a third, or about a half of the way in maybe. Let's see if I can zoom in here on the tread. Anyway these little guys and uh, they get stuck because these are the original ones that were meant to go in that metal base so I think they were designed for that. I don't know if they're original. I think these are the bird ones. Maybe the factory units come with ones that are a little bit smaller which would explain why certain kits come with replacement screws. So I bought this Pro Kit and this Pro Kit did not have replacement screws so I'm gonna call an audible here um, and uh, I'm going to give it the snips, see if I can cut off about halfway through, see if I can get that screwed in, and uh, yeah. I have uh, cut the screws by about half and screwed them in, and that seemed to work. Um, very risky move considering they're machine screws and the threading is very important, but it looks like I did a good job. So they get all the way in and that thing is nice and secure. Now um, a couple things is there is a layer of film on this one, which I'm sure, you know, there also is a layer of film on here. Right, just because up here, um, with the uh, this is, these aren't just adhesive; they look like they're like a foam, like a little bit of a pad. Um, so uh, I'm gonna peel off this layer of adhesive. I'm gonna I'm gonna set these on here, nice and gently, without the foam. Um, and then uh, yeah, I'm gonna put everything on the final product. I am gonna leave the plastic on so my wife can peel this one off. I got one for uh, one for me and one for her, so. She can kind of get that like new feeling, maybe kind of crack it in, but um, got a charger in it right now and it boots up and everything seems to be good to go. Um, it will connect to Bluetooth. I got to kind of test it a little bit, but um, this is more about the how-to than the specifics of which model. So um, yeah, pretty much all set. I actually uh, tried putting it on. This is, this is the other one that I had. Um, the one that I was showing you guys on, actually the battery is shot. Uh, either the battery shot or the connector port doesn't work, as you can see I'm charging it down there. But um, yeah, pretty much it.